Hello, friends. Today, we'll learn about static electricity. Ah, I see you're very excited. It is the buildup of an electrical charge on the surface of any object. The charges remain in one area, then moving to any other area, so it's called static. In other words, we can say static electricity occurs when there is an imbalance of positivity in negatively charged atoms. It was discovered accidentally and was investigated by the Dutch physicist Peter van Muschenbroek and independently by the German inventor Edvold George van Kleist in 1745. Hmm, uh, you must have experienced the effects of static electricity. Remember when you had a bad hair day? <laughs> this is the effect of static electricity that has built up on your head. It happens because of the basic building blocks of all matter, called atoms. All materials are made up of atoms. Atoms contain even tinier particles known as electrons that carry a minus or negative electrical charge. Electrons orbit a positively charged nucleus. The surface of some objects, such as the balloons, steal electrons from other surfaces and the extra electrons make them negatively charged. When electrons build up with no circuit for them to flow along, they create non-moving or static electricity. Let's understand this with a simple experiment. See this man walking on the carpet? This carpet is covered with many electrons. As he walks, he picks up the static electricity. When they shake hands, the electricity discharges through the lady giving her a sudden shock. Let's see the uses of static electricity. Static electricity is used in electrostatic precipitator. A photocopier also uses this electricity. Inkjet and laser printers use static electricity to guide a small jet of ink to the appropriate place on the page. But there are some dangers associated with static electricity. Most gasoline container refueling fires are due to static electricity and are caused by the container not being filled on the ground, but in the trunk of a car, the back of a truck, or the step of a van. If static charges are allowed to discharge through the areas where there is petrol vapor, a fire can occur. Lightning is also static electricity. Heavier, negatively charged particles sink to the bottom of the cloud. When the positive and negative charges grow large enough, a giant spark, lightning, occurs between the two charges. Now, you know a lot about static electricity. Please drop a like, leave a comment, share the videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye!